Hey everybody, in this video we're going to create a working compound interest calculator using C. Before beginning, we'll need to include the following header file, include math.h. Let's declare the variables we'll need. We'll have double, principal. Now I sometimes get the spelling wrong, I'll type in principal. This is the person in charge of your school. With money and investments, the principal is what you're investing initially your initial deposit, so to say. I'll set that to be 0, 0.0. Then a rate, an interest rate. That will be 0, 0.0, an int of years. How long are we investing something? I will set that to be zero initially. Then times compounded. How often does interest accrue? In most cases, it's gonna be one. Then a total. I don't want to name this variable return because that's a keyword in C. We'll say total equals 0, 0.0. Then we need some prompts. First, I'll create a title for our program. We'll say compound interest calculator, new line. Then we need the principal. How much is somebody investing? printf, enter the principal. Here's the formula to calculate compound interest. This will be the variable p. We'll use scanf to get user input. We're accepting a double. The format specifier is going to be %lf. Then at the address of our variable principal, insert a value here. Then we need the interest rate. Enter the interest rate as a percent. If your percent sign is red and you're using VS Code, don't worry about it. VS Code thinks you're trying to insert a format specifier here, but rather we're trying to print a percent sign. You can just ignore that. In our equation, this would be R for the interest rate. Scan F. We're inserting a double, we'll use a format specifier of LF. Then at the address of our variable rate. Somebody might type in 5 for 5%. Eventually we'll turn that into 0 0.05 by dividing it by 100. Actually, let's do that now. Our rate will be rate divided by 100. If somebody were to type in 10, well 10 divided by 100 would be 0.1. Then the number of years. If we put money in the bank, let's say, how long is it going to be in there accruing interest? Printf. Enter the number of years. And this will be T in our equation. Scan F. We need an integer. The format specifier is percent %d. At the address of years. Then the number of times compounded per year, this variable. In most cases, it's probably going to be 1. Printf, enter number of times compounded per year. This will be variable n in our equation. Scanf, we're going to get an integer. The format specifier is percent %d for decimal at the address of our variable times compounded. Let's make sure everything's working currently. Let's do a test run. Compound interest calculator, enter the principal. I'll say $1,000 with an interest rate of 10%. Maybe we're putting it into the stock market. Enter the number of years for one year. Enter the number of times compounded per year, one. Okay, looks like everything's working. I just have to add a space right here after this question. Because I missed that. Now, here's the formula to calculate the total, this variable. It's pretty complicated, but we'll take it step by step. We need to multiply our principal by 
We're going to use the power function from the math header file. We raise a base to a given power, x to the power of y, so to say. Now the base is going to be the following, 1 plus our rate, our interest rate, divided by our variable times compounded. We're raising this to the power of y. y is going to be times compounded times our variable years. That's the formula. If you need to, pause the video and write this down. Once we have the amount, let's display it. Printf. We'll say the following. After the amount of years, we'll add a format specifier here. We're displaying an integer. We'll use a format specifier of D for decimal. Years. The total will be... Pick a unit of currency. I'll pick American dollars. Then we'll insert the total here. We need a format specifier of LF to display a double. I'll set a precision of 0.2 to display two digits after the decimal. We will insert two variables, the number of years, our variable years, that is, and the total. What's the total amount? Okay, let's run this again. Let's say that we put $1,000 into the stock market. The stock market in this case will have an average interest rate of 10%. I'll set the time to be 1 for 1 year. How often does interest accrue per year? We'll say 1. So according to the math here, I should have $1,100. After 1 year, the total will be $1,100. But this time I'll set years to be 2. $1,000 with an interest rate of 10% after 2 years and the number of times compounded per year will be 1 still. After 2 years, the total will be $1,210. I'll set years to be 1, but the number of times compounded to be 2. So 1,000, 10% interest rate, 1 year, but the number of times compounded per year will be 2. After 1 year, the total will be $1,102.50. All right, everybody, that is a compound interest calculator that you can write using C.